right, so we're going to do a review on this pepper here. But for now, we'll just pick that one. And we'll do a review on this one. Mediocre in size. It's purplish to it. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Let's turn it around and give it a taste test. All right, so here we are, guys. We're going to do a taste test on this. Again, I'd probably say 20 to 30% of the seeds I receive every year from seed companies uh, is usually not what it is that they advertise. So that's one of the reasons why I do my reviews is so when you get your peppers, you could kind of look at them and say, oh, well, this one's not the right variety. I didn't get what I purchased anyway. So that's one of the reasons why I do these videos. The other reason is, is I proof the peppers before I actually sell a seed. So I'm selling you the seed that I actually grow on my website. So if it's not a long purple cane, I am not going to show you pictures of a long purple cane, and it's not that at all. At HR Seeds, we proof our seeds. We don't just buy third-party seed and sell it like most websites. We proof them, we grow them out, we see what comes out of them, and then we sell you the seeds. All right, so here it is. And... We are going to bite that right now. Oh, squishy. I think that's some heat on it. That thing was squishy and disgusting. I that I noticed that with these purple peppers, they're squishy and disgusting. Not all the time. But these purple cane ones, you gotta be real careful when you eat them. They get like watery inside. I did a review on a purple, the regular purple cane, the normal one, and that thing was like really gushy and wet. And it was pretty gross to be honest with you. I'll pick another one. It's probably going to be the same experience. There's some heat on this thing, guys. It's burning me up right now. Let me take a smaller bite. These things are freaking hot, man. Got to spit the skins out because there's it, the inside, the flesh, is really soft. As soon as you put it in your mouth and you start to chew it, all the flesh dissolves. And you're left with this hard, rubbery skin. I, I, I have to spit it out. I can't sit here and chew that up. But this thing's got some heat on it. Oh, man. Right now, I tell you right now, burn lip-wise, it's burning like the insides of my lips a little bit. And a little bit around the outside. The tip of my tongue is really feeling it a lot, and that's really about it. Just the very end of my tongue and my lips are burning. Back of the throat, not really. Maybe a little tingle here and there. It's not really that bad, to be honest with you. But the type of heat that it is, is pretty strong. So, yeah, it's pretty hot. It's got a pretty good flavor to it, actually. It tastes sort of like a cane, but not exactly. That wetness throws you off. Your canes aren't normally wet like that. This, the, 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 there's wetness, really. And when I say wetness, I'm talking about eating the placenta. The placenta and this wetness comes out of it. And it's just kind of... It, it throws you off a little bit. You don't want a gushy, mooey, gooey type of placenta, you know. You, we, so that kind of goos up on you. But the flavor is nice on this, though. It's a little bit on the sweet side. has a little bit of a sweet flavor. Taste-wise, it kind of tastes like a cane a little bit. But it's something else in there. My mouth is really burning right now. So I, it's really hard for me to focus on the flavor of it. That's why I'm not... I'm waiting a minute. <clears throat> when it burns you like that, it's hard to really pay, put your attention to the flavor. You know, it's really difficult. So let me take another small bite off of that. You can see the whole thing is gushy, like, I don't know what just happened. My camera just shuts off on its own and then turns back on in the middle of doing a video. I don't know why my camera does that, but boy, I'll tell you, that's, I'd never buy another Sony again. That's really annoying, so I don't know where I left off, but the flavor has a sweet flavor. It kind of tastes like a cane. It is a little wet and soft, but these peppers have been sitting on here for about three months. You probably don't want to do that with those canes. You probably, with these particular canes, you don't want to leave them on there that long. I was kind of hoping they were going to dry up on the plant. But anyway, that was just a quick review on the long purple cane or whatever you want to call it. Maybe I'll rename it and put it on the site or something. But 
that's what it was and that's what we reviewed so like share and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one